This video is about cross stitch and sometimes a little bit about quilting, but today it's mainly about cross stitch. Thank you for just happening to my channel or watching. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, please like and subscribe and do all the things. Um, yay! I am a school teacher and I am about 30 something days away from retiring and I am excited about that because I'm going to get more time to stitch. So yay! So today I've got some finishes to show you. My eye is leaking this morning. I got some finishes to show you and uh, no new starts. And then some haul, thrift store haul and uh, some other, other kinds of haul. So have fun. I hope you enjoy. Um, starting this summer, my channel, which already has other types of videos in it. I have some racing videos. My husband and I are involved in chaplaining drag racing, uh, particularly in a dry drag racing. And there's some videos about that. And there's some videos about Florida gardening because I have a little gar little garden. And there'll be a um, video about that coming out soon. And then my husband and I are starting a, I, I don't want to say channel, but that we're going to call it a channel, but it's going to be on this YouTube channel called The Tom and Kathy Show. And it'll be about retirement and funny things and funny stories. And we, I, you know, I don't have anything better to do than to make funny YouTube videos. So there you go. All right, let's get right in there. I have some finishes. I finished this strawberry. I can't remember if I talked about it last time or not, but this is this Erica Michael strawberry from the Christmas series where there's three in each and it's the 12 days of Christmas. And this is a partridge in a pear tree. Let me put this against a different kind of a background. Um, I'm looking for something white. This'll do. All right, here you go. So that's a partridge in a pear tree. This is done one over two with my colors, not the called for. And um, it is on probably Wake Styleworks Cocoa, I wanna say. I bought this piece in Denver, I believe. And I think it's called Cocoa, uh, but I'll double check. So that is really fun because it was my first experience in one, oh, well, my second experience in one over two. Um, if I didn't say it's 36 count, my dog is uh, right over there and he is drinking some water and I'm certain you can hear that. So that's a finish, yay. And then I also re repurposed a piece that I had. Um, my cousin gave me this, so she, she cross-stitched this long ago, uh, early 2000s probably. And it says, blessed are the quilters for they shall be called peacemakers. And I'm making it into a pillow, I haven't stuffed it yet, but I had this pink batik and um, there it is. Um, this is older, so I don't know um, what it was stitched on. I can tell you it was stitched on certainly uh, even weave. And, hmm, probably 20, no, that looks tiny. There's some, it looks like over one on 28 count. I'm not certain, but they're tiny, tiny stitches. So it looks like it's one over one on 28-ish. Mm, Look real close, those of you that know, and maybe you can tell. It's really pretty. So that's from Teresa, my cousin, repurposed into a pillow. And then I finished uh, Erica Michaels Strawberry, but I'm not making a strawberry. Uh, I finally finished it. You are my sunshine. Oh, it's called Sunshine Berry. And let's see if I can. Here we go. So here it is. 
Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can get it super close. So it says Yarma Sunshine. This is a gift for someone special. And um, I'm excited. I am going to, uh, this is on 28 count parchment paper by roguestitching.com. It's a printed, this is printed, it's just plain on the back. So it's printed and I really liked it. I had this piece for a long time. I bought it early in my cross stitching career and thought, what am I gonna put on that? It had to be something you know, different and special. And then when I saw this year on my sunshine, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that on there. And then I went to a um, thrift, stop, thrift store and got this frame. It had like a mirror kind of thing on it. So I took the mirror out. It's new, it's not old at all. I took the mirror out and um, this is gonna fit in there. This is gonna fit in there quite nicely. So it just fits, it just fits perfectly. So the, the white won't show, this white up here won't show. So I'm going to uh, pin it on a board and put a little bit of batting underneath it. And then hopefully next time I'll have an FFO for you. That's a fully finished object. Uh, let's see. I'm over here, I'm just putting things away. And then I have uh, some things I've been stitching on. I have been stitching on, uh, oh, I started a new berry. That's the second berry. I finished the first berry. And I have a tiniest of starts on, um, let's see, which one is this? This would be three, two turtle doves, three French hens, three French hens. And I just have this embarrassingly small start. And that is... Let's see, where is that in the picture? Everything is a chart in here. That's one of the little flowers, so you'll see that. I was gonna do one a month. So, let's see, I did one in January, I did one in February. I finished the February one this month, so I'm a month behind, which is fine. I keep it in this Christmas bag I made a really, really long while. Oh, I'll hold it up longer. People get mad at me. There you go. There it is. I don't know what fabric. It's from a long time ago. So that is Erica Michaels, 12 Days of Christmas Berries. And then I have been stitching on my Plum Street sampler. Um, I started a new piece. It's a new start. Sorry, I was going to tell you what I've been stitching on. And I didn't think I had a new start, but I do. It's called Starbucks. This is new from Market. Plum Street Sampler Starbucks. Is that not the cutest? And this is also a gift for someone special. I don't know the fabric. It's fabric that I had, but I'm just going to guess. I'm doing two, two over two, probably 28 count because that's what I had the most before I started stitching on 40 count and such. So I just have a little bit done. The coffee cup. I had the coffee cup in the front part of that doggy and the nose of that doggy. And they're, uh, let's see, are they called for colors? Mostly called for. I substituted a couple of things. This uh, is fabric that, did I dye this fabric? No. This is fabric that is modeled on one side and then not on the other. So I'm doing it on the modeled side. It's a 28 count um, unknown in my stash. I learned my lesson that in your stash, you need to like, just put a little piece of paper in a pen when you finish a piece and you have leftover. Put that on that fabric so you'll know what it is. I mean, I can tell the basics, the 28 count, 
even weave. I can tell those things, but I need to keep better track of that. And I will, I'm, I will. So here's my, I keep most of my, I keep my DMC in little bags and or I think I transferred these are, now these are some DMCs too. Some of my DMCs are on some little floss keepers that I made. And then when I'm done with this, I put them back in the little bags or I put them next to the bags on these rings. In my stitching room, I have DMC by number, by the hundreds. So the one hundreds are together, two hundreds and so on. And then if they're in a bag like this, they hang on there like this and, uh, if they're not, then I, I would hang this right next to the baggie with the other ones in it. And there's some Weeks Dye Works in this too. Or, is that Weeks Dye Works? Yeah. So, mostly my own colors. I'm using my own colors because I just, um, I try to save money and I have a lot of floss that was given to me, so I like to use that. So that is Starbucks. That is my new school stitch when I finish the stitch that I'm on right now. At school, I stitch during my plan period if I'm done with everything, and then I stitch during lunch. So this will be at school soon. Um, another thing I'm working on. Oh, here's my school stitch. I don't have it with me. Oops, sorry. Kick the camera. I don't have my school stitch with me, but I am doing spring stitching seasons by Stitching with the Housewives. I got this off that quarter shop. It was like a little club. And last time I showed the bag that it came in and everything, but here it is. It's really cute. Came with a little fob, a um, little fob that looks like that and came with a bag that looks kind of like that. I have stitched um, I stitched those flowers spring and those flowers and just finished stitching those flowers yesterday and started on the roof here. So I'll try, I'll bring that this weekend and take some pictures or put a picture at the end. So that's a club that I think they still have room. I'm not sure. That's from Fat Quarter Shop. And stitching with the housewives. By the way, I watched them. Here's my, here's my shout outs. Karen. Gold, Goldman, and she's got a new name, and every time I get in front of the camera, I forget it. But you know her, Karen Goldman. Karen, I'll, I'll link her below, or I'll add it on at the end. But Karen is a prolific stitcher, um, sweet lady, and her husband does like a little Bible, short little Bible reading at the end. I really appreciate that. So thank you, Karen. If she watches, I don't. And since you went to the housewife, I know they don't watch. Those those women are busy. They stitch. They do all their own stitching. They don't even have model stitches or anything like that. I hope I'm looking in the right place. And um, I like them. Stitching with the housewives. And Steph and Pam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I love it so much. That's Steph. And I like Pam a lot, too, man. She's, I think she's my age. So uh, we could be good friends, Pam, if I live there. Ah. Uh, Let's see, who else? There's some others I'll think about them in just a second. Okay, another thing I'm stitching on is up another Plum Street. And I got to find it in here. There's the thing. There's the picture. I always can't find the picture. Here it is. This is this is the day. Plum Street samplers. Now see that house right there? Look at all those different color bricks. I have completed one sampler. And it was, you know, probably the same size. This is a doozy. And a Sweetwater Stitcher, yeah. She finished it in like lightning speed. I think she monogamously finished it very quickly. And I don't know how she did it because it has given me it's not giving me fits, it's not hard, it's just taking me a really, really long time because golly gee, there's lots of things. And I've messed up a couple, I think we always, we all mess up some somewhere, somehow, and we just fix it, you know? We just fix it, or leave it alone, and no one will know. So this is it. 
So I'm working on the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all those bricks. Holy moly. I changed um, the this right here. I put blue in this planter or the vase or whatever that's called. I put blue in there. It was supposed to be a greenish, snackly-ish thing. And it blended too much with this color. So I put blue in there because I like blue. So that's what I did there. And somewhere I messed up here on the colors that were used. And I don't know, I don't know how. But I'm leaving it alone because I'm just leaving it alone. I like it. I think it's pretty. I like it. And I'm not going to change it. When I'm all done, if the way that flower looks bothers me, then I'll take it out, but I'm gonna wait till I'm finished. So I feel like once I'm finished with, you know, this top half, all of this up here, I think the words won't take very long. That's why I saved them for last, because I know they're gonna be easy. And, um, you know, people don't show the back, right? Okay, I'm going to show you the back. Only because I'm a self-taught stitcher. Nobody sat down and showed me how to do anything. I just watch videos. And you can do that. It's not It's not a really hard thing to do. Cross-stitch is not hard. There are lots of videos out there. You can, you, can be, you can watch other people and teach yourself. And the more you listen, the more you learn. And when I started this, I said, I'm going to be really good. I'm going to like. Not, I'm going to try. I travel on the back some. That's when you take a thread from one part and go with it to do another part, it's called traveling. And sometimes you can see through that on a piece and sometimes you can't, so I travel. So I have to show you, here's the beginning part of my piece and, and look at the back. So you can see the beginning part of my piece is all in there, so that looks, that looks fine on the back. And there's a little bit of traveling, like right there, some traveling. So that's the back, and then I got to the house. I just want you to see what it looks like because I think more people's backs look like this. And I don't I don't think it matters at all. I'm just showing it to you so you don't feel bad because I don't feel bad. But look at the back of my house. Look at my house. Look at that. It looks like a rat's nest. This looks good. Started. Going really good. Then get all those bricks are different colors. So I don't care, but that's the way my back looks. So let's don't end it there. Let's look back at the front. So, you know, so then you can have a nice memory of it instead of a spaghetti gut ball memory of it. So there she is. So I'm happy. Taking way longer than I thought. I don't know when I started this. I could look in my book, but I'm imagining before Christmas. I don't know. But it's okay. I like it. And I'm using the call for, and that's what they look like in my bag. They're just a big old, they're not pretty, like Nicole, Nicole's needlework. <sighs> Her thread always looks so pretty. My thread always looks like this. But that's how I roll, you know? And um, I did not make a working copy of that. I just draw all over my copy. Like I'll show you just a, a little corner. I taped it. It, it comes in different um, different pages and I taped it together. And I'll just show you a little corner right there. Um, there, there, see? I um, cross through the ones I do because I, um, I, I know people share charts like they, once they're done with their chart, they share the chart with someone else. And um, I don't know. I just, didn't think about that. I haven't thought about that. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So, um, I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. I just, I don't know. It's my chart and I'm marked all over it because it's my chart. So, um, I do have a new piece that I'll talk to you about that I started on my birthday that um, I did a hashtag for it called, um, I'm switching subjects very quickly. I'm going to another thing I've been stitching on. This is my birthday stitch. 
in a really pretty bag that I made. I made these pillows and I didn't like the pillows and so I made them into a bag. I made the pillows several years ago. And I did a birthday start and I started a hashtag for this. I had a father kind and true, Alice Clark, 1844 by Cross Stitch Antiques. This is it. That's the antique, obviously. I started that on my birthday with some fabric that I dyed myself and I used Chelsea and um, Priscilla Stitching with Housewives. I watched one of their videos. I tea dyed this, tea and coffee dyed it. In other words, I put it in a pan with very, very hot tea and coffee mixed together. I, sim I simmered it like no boiling or anything and I, I let it sit in that pan for about 30 minutes as long as I kept it hot. I didn't leave the stove on the whole time, but I kept it hot for like 30 minutes. And then I took it out and let it drip a little bit and scrunched it up in a nine by 11 baking pan and put it in the oven. The oven was at 200. And I probably baked this for like 30 minutes. And that's how you get, um, okay. So that's it. And I started with the border and that's all I've, I've done. I have not gone all the way around, but I've gone all the way across the top. So it's pretty big, all the way across the top to here, started going down. And then I went all the way to the bottom here. So it's going to be enormous, okay? Enormous, goes to about right here. So that size. And here's the, the, the tea dye gives it that, um, like every once in a while there's a, a burnt looking, let me, Get this on the back of it. Um, because I dyed it, there's like marks in it like that. That's from the baking it in the oven. And I purposely put the darker markings, the darker um, burnt-ish parts on the bottom. Um, that's where the tree will be right here. The tree of life will be right there. And I put those darker parts so it goes from light to dark on my, in my piece. This is 36 count. Uh, I think it's Swigert because it has the orange. So if it has the orange, I think that means it's Swigert. Swigert. So here they are. Here's my part so far. Strawberries, my little strawberries. And I'm using 103 threads. Never done that before. The original piece was stitched on 46 count. And I've not done that and was not comfortable doing that. So I got 36 count. And then because I soaked it in hot water and put it in the oven, it shrunk a little. So it is more like 38 or ish or 40 ish. Um, the piece, if it's done on 46 count, is 21 by 21 inches. So mine's gonna be um, 28 by 41, but I think that's just, that's with two inches on the edge. But that's it, that's my birthday, um, Sal, and I just, did it hashtag Alice Clark 1844 Sal. I didn't put birthday because nobody knows who I am. So I, I just put that on there. And I keep my 103s in here. Never stitch with 103s. Now I will tell you that 103s on 36 count doesn't give you, doesn't give a coverage that some, I mean, I don't think some people would like the coverage that this does on 36, because if you'll look at that, that is not super thick coverage. I like it. I like it, so it's fine for me. If you wanted super thick coverage, you might want to do th two threads, um, but I'm not. I'm fine with this. Um, it's going well. I find that um, I work on it in the mornings and I try and do two strawberries and the green that goes with them a day. 
and uh, that hasn't worked out, but I have some done, so that's good. Uh, let's see, I have some haul. So let me put this ginormous piece back. Um, now for a person who's only done one um, sampler, this is a big project, but I've given myself three years to do it. And I work on it a little bit, maybe four times a week, something like that. And so that's fine, I'm not in a hurry. I'm mainly stitching on that and the plum, plum house, the, this is the day right now, because this is the day, it's taking me forever. Okay, I got some haul. I went to my, <clears throat> it is not local, but I went to a needle workshop at Brick City Stitchers in Ocala. They're the closest to me, it's like an hour or so away. And I was on my way to Gainesville to a race and I stopped in and now I'm sort of glad there is not an LNS near me. You know what I mean, don't you? So here are some things I got there. I got um, the little brown back because I like the series A Year in the Woods. This is A Year in the Woods by, oh, Kathy, Cottage Garden. So I got the bat. I love bats. I think they're a necessary part of nature. They're a great part of nature. They do what they're supposed to do. And they eat mosquitoes. So if you live in Florida, you're happy. I got the bald eagle. I am not going to do this on this. Well, yeah, I am. Never mind. I'll show you what I'm going to do this one on this one. And another one that I, that I already have, I'm going to do on this fabric. I'll show you in a second. And I got the woodpecker because we have woodpeckers all over Florida. We have the small kind and we have the giant kind. There's the little woodpecker. I got that at Brick City. And then I also got this hands-on design red, she said. It's a little banner. I like that. I'm gonna hang that in a window. And then I'm gonna put between these, I'm gonna put quilted triangles like that and then hang this in a window in my kitchen. It doesn't, it won't get a lot of sunlight so it won't uh, dim and fade the colors. So I really like that. I'll probably change uh, this, use some fab different fabric on this background part that that matches the, the little triangles I'll put in between. What's it called? Bunting. It's called bunting. And then I got this fabric that I'm going to do the, um, eagle on this is let me put something behind it this is the color it's sort of a greenish it's got a little bit of green in it and I'm going to do this and um, I think the rabbit the jackrabbit I have a year in the woods I'm gonna do both those on these colors 36 count so I'm gonna go one over two and I'm probably not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna use the call for, well, I'll use as much DMC as I have. And then for, here's what I do. I use DMC if there aren't big swatches. I think all of these have are call for DMC. Yes, they do. So if there's a part of the animal like this right here and the black that have a lot of threads in them, then I'll use a hand dyed thread like Classic Color Works or Weeks Dye Works or something like that that has variegation because I like variegation when there's large areas. But when there's like little small, like that house down there, that house is probably done in three different DMC colors. I'll probably do it in one with a lot of variegation. So big areas I do with um, variegated thread, probably the eagle, the gray, and this color and this color, I'll find three different classic color works or waste dye works that has some variegation in them. So that'll be a little more variegated. So that's how I handle that. And then I also got this fabric, I just liked it, and I, it's 36 count platinum. Oh, it says Weeks Dye Works. Oh, oh, the orange is Weeks Dye Works. I was wrong. I said the orange before was Weigert something. This is Weeks Dye Works, but I don't know if their base is Weigert. I don't know enough about fabric. But I will say that um, 
Kimberly on Fat Quarter Shop did a whole show just on the different kinds of fabrics. And that was very informative to me. Other people have done it as well. You can type in cross stitch fabrics and find videos about the different kinds. And I, I'm very ignorant to that because I've only just graduated from 28 count and 14 count Ada to even weave and linen and all that. So this is 36 Platinum by Weeks Dye Works. And I don't know what I'm gonna do on this. I just bought a, I think it's called a fat quarter. There it is. More than likely, <clears throat> I'll dye this. I'll tea dye it and coffee dye it like the other one. I just like that look. It's an antique look, but I won't until I figure out what I'm gonna make with it. And I have one more haul, and that is, <clears throat> I got this from Fat Quarter Shop. It's Bamboo Blend 50-50 Bamboo and Natural Cotton. It is the batting for the quilt I showed in my last video that I have yet to load on my long arm. And um, that is a quilt I'm making for a family member. So now I have the batting, now I have to load it and start sewing on it. And then I, uh, one more thing. Then I also, um, this is the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine that came out last month. These come out every quarter. And I have earmarked the things I want to do in them. So definitely um, Hello Spring. What is the Hello Spring one I want to do? Um, it, and the, that chart comes in this, in this magazine, which is like, Friends are the flowers of life. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's beautiful. Definitely gonna do that one. And this is Stitching with the Housewives, I think. It certainly looks like them, yes. Oh my goodness. Seasonal row, spring. Look at those little bunny thingies. I don't have a lot of cross stitch. I've not been doing, I've been doing it three and a half, four years and I just, I don't have a lot, so I need some spring, I need some. So that's Stitching with Housewives, that's in there. Um, Vonna Pfeiffer did a finishing tutorial in this magazine, and the design is called Hair's Hunt by Pump Street Samplers. This chart is not in this magazine because it's the finishing that she did that was in the magazine. But once I saw this chart, I said, oh my word, look at it. So definitely gonna have to find that, get it. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure it's still available. And then one more that I, that is in here, this chart is in here. It's called Hopping Down the Bunny. Oh, it's called Bunny Trail by Joyce Reed. I don't want to mess my magazine up, but there's, there's Bunny Trail. So, you know, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are five charts in here that I like that I'm going to try and stitch. Okay, that's a pays for the subscription over and over and over again. So... On the newsstand, it's $10. I can't remember what my subscription was. If I remember, it was like 36, 30, it's in the 30s. So worth it, and it makes you wanna do punch needle. But that's a whole other thing that I'm not ready to start yet, but this book makes me wanna do punch needle really bad. So that's all I have. I hope you found something that you like. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, sorry for kicking the stand. If you heard any dog slurps, that's TiVo. Yes, he's named after the football player. And y'all just have a great day, a great week, and a great life. And I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.